Hello, welcome to DBK Consults, and today we shall be looking at your design report, or popularly known as your calculation sheet. So, your calculation sheet is a very important document in every structural design because this is the only way you can guarantee that some mathematics we are done behind the members that we are provided for construction and in most countries or almost in every country if you intend to seal your structural drawing the government agency will always request for the calculation sheet in order to back off the members that has been provided during your design phase so if you're designing with protal structure let's quickly see the processes involved in how you can export this calculation sheet for your beams your slabs your columns and your foundations so we have over here a two-story residential structure that has been completely designed and to verify that we'll come to the visual interrogation and we'll scroll down to design status and if we click ok all right so as you can see we have what our structural members in green which signifies that our structural design for these members are okay so the next point will be what going on to export our calculation report so let's take out this design status so let's just come back here and we'll put this at none all right so as you can see on this structure we have what our roof beams we have the second floor beams the first floor beams we have two slabs here so let's start with our beams and let's start with the beams on this story three okay so if we click here if we click on this part because there are two ways you can actually do this you can actually export your calculation sheet according to the stories or you can as well combine all uh, the calculation sheet for one specific structural member so by that i mean you can combine the beams calculation sheet for your story one your story two and your story three you can also combine both slabs or you can as well export them individually okay so let's start with exporting this individually i'll navigate to the story like uh story three here yeah? then i'll click on beam let me click on beam then i'll right click then i have two options there i have reinforced concrete beam design active story and i have reinforced concrete beam design so this will bring out the beam design for all the stories while this will bring out for the uh, specific story in question which is what our story three so i will click here and as you can see on this story tab here we have all here to be what story three so to see our calculation sheet all you need to do is come back to this point where we have what design reports and i will click okay and i can click okay so give a few seconds to load and here we have the calculation sheet for our beams on the story three so what i understand that your main aim for this calculation report is probably to submit your to your local authority for ceiling i will always advise you take out few seconds to interact with your calculation sheet so you get to understand what is going on and at the end of the day you don't end up uh, submitting a half-baked calculation sheet okay so let's just observe what is going on on this calculation sheet for the beams so this is the uh, material properties for the beams in question so on the story 3 the material properties for this beam we have the grade as grade 25 slash 30 the reinforcement grade is 410 the reinforcement grade for the uh share reinforcement as well is 410 which are our links and our concrete cover for our beams are 25 millimeter so this is the first beam in question and this first beam consists of three different span this is the first span this is the second and this is the third span okay so for the first span here we have the length as 1.3 thereabouts we also have the span of the second uh, uh beam as about two meters we have 1980 millimeters here yeah? and the third span of the beam on this very row we have what 4.2 meters okay so for each of these beams these are the share and these are the moment diagrams okay so this second line is the share this uh, third line is the moment diagram why this is the udl acting on 
our beams okay so like i said it's important you get to investigate your calculation sheets a bit and you do some little checks to ensure whatever you are submitting or whatsoever you are using to back up your detailed design is accurate okay so let's come here and you will see the uh, share and torsion design so these are the links that has been provided for uh to counter against the share and this is the deflection check for the first pan of the beam we have 5.21 less than or equal to 61.55 so this is okay so it's ticked in green all right so this is also the second uh deflection check for the second span while this is the deflection check for the third span so all this indicates this is okay now this is the area of reinforcement that has been provided against your area of reinforcement that is required all right so this is our moment uh this is our moment figures both at the top and at the bottom so the area of steel provided we have 2y16 at the top and 2y16 at the bottom which equates to these values and as you can see these values are above both the uh, moment at the top and at the bottom all right so this is just what is going on in your calculation sheet so you can use this to even detail your structural drawings manually all right and you can go ahead and investigate other beams if you have in any of them that are failing possibly in deflection then you will get to see the notice here okay or any other failures that are occurring on that specific beams so in order to save this we'll click on this pdf here and it will direct us to this protostructure structure export uh, folder so we can decide to save this but i will prefer we save the both the beams for the story one the story two and the story three all together so to do that i will close this and i'll close this as well and i will come to my design tab and i will click on my story beams so if i click on my story beams if you come to this story part i have beams both on story one i also have beams on story two and i have beams on story three so i intend to combine all of this so i will just come here to my design reports and i will click ok all right so you give a few seconds to load as well So this is our calculation sheet and as you can see this starts from the uh, story one these are the material properties and you can go ahead and investigate this these are the moment diagrams as well so to save this i will come here and i'll click on this pdf it will also redirect me and i can save this in my uh, export folder okay so i can come back later to that specific folder and extract that for my calculation reports okay so this is it for all the stories this is the calculation sheet for all and each of the stories each of the beams on the specific stories on this very model okay so i will close this and i will also close this as well so the next point will be exporting the calculation sheet for our slabs so i can navigate to the level where we have slab which is our story two or our story one okay well let's do this for the story two so i will remain on my design tab and i will come to slab analysis and design so just like we did for the beams we can design we can decide to uh see the calculation sheet for all the stories or we can see the individual stories so for this case i just want to see the calculation sheet for my story two so i will click i will untick this and let me click on design okay so as you can see uh for the first slab on our story two which is two slab one we have what our deflection check all over d 40 is less than 52 so this is sufficient and our reinforcement provided we have what y12 at 250 millimeter and we also have y12 at 250 millimeter this is both for the top and for the bottom zone of this very slab okay so i can also go ahead to save this as a pdf and it comes to my export folder so i can call this slab calculation sheet 
okay for story two and i can click what save okay so it also brings it out as a pdf and you can go ahead and investigate each of uh this slab if there are insufficient slabs you can also see them on uh, this very pdf okay so i will close this and we've done this for the beams we've done for the slab so the next structural member will be for our columns then to do that i will also i can also right click on column here and i can check the column for active story or i can just come to columns so it combines the columns on story one both on the story two and three as well okay so in this case to get the calculation report you can as you can see it is not here so just come to this report tab and click on your design report all right so for me i will select only this option here so you can as well include some of these options but i do not want this report to be cumbersome i just want to see the important details all right so you can play with this and see the result it gives you so i'll select only this and i'll click on okay and we give it a few seconds to load as well okay and here we have what our column calculation sheet all right so we also have the uh, material properties the grade of reinforcement and also the grade of steel both for the main reinforcement and our share reinforcement as well so this is a section drawing of the uh, specific column in question which is one column one and as you can see over here these are the arrangement of the reinforcements so the area of steel provided we have what 4y16 and that gives us it's 04.25 millimeter square why the area of steel required we have what 202.50 okay so as you can see this is actually sufficient this is the checks on our columns okay so you can go ahead and investigate this but to save this for other purposes just click on your pdf as well we direct you and we can what save this in our export folder all right so you can take your time to go through each of uh these checks and let's add on to the last part which is what our foundation okay so if we close this and we also close this so we can come here on this structure we have what we have what part foundation okay so to check the calculation sheet for our part foundation we'll come here to part footings and as you can see all the members has been designed and the design status is actually okay because all here is what ticked green all right so to see the calculation report we'll just come here to detailed design report all right if i click here and this is the calculation sheet for our part foundation if you found this video helpful at any point please do not forget to like it do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on our notification bell so anytime we post new videos you also get notified all right so we go ahead to investigate this as well if you wish to for this very first column we have the dimensions here uh both on the x and on the y axis and we have what the thickness okay we have all properties related to this column so you can take your time go through the checks both for uh, the concrete members the reinforced members and also for the soils all right but our interest is getting our calculation report so i will come here to pdf and uh, i will save this as my pad footings let's say pad design all right all and we can save this what as what a pdf okay so this is how you get to extract your calculation sheet if you are designing with proto structure and this version is version 2021 all right so do not forget to like like i said if you found this video helpful at any point so see you in our next course